So in this video, we are going to take up the second problem. So here we can see a cubic spline interpolation of the cubic spline function. We have to obtain a cubic spline approximation for the function defined over here. So here we can see that four points are involved. The first, co the first question, there was only three points. Here, four points we have got. Okay, we have to find the function at x equal to 1.5. That's what we have to do. We'll start with the first step. So before that, I will just note this part that this is x0 consider x1, x2 and x3. This is corresponding f0, f1, f2 and f3. So what was the first step that we have discussed? First you have to define what is n. n is nothing but the numbers given over here. Count the numbers. x, how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. But always remember n will start from 0. You have to start the counting from 0. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So totally n equal to 3 is there. Okay, not 4. Don't write 4. It is n is equal to 3. Next, define h. What is h? h is the class width, the interval width. So if you see x interval 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, it will be same. The gap between the width between the intervals will be same and it is given by here 1. Correct? So I will just directly write 1. Because if you do 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3, it is 1. Equal interval. Next we have to define m0 which is always initial approximation. mn, here what is n value? 3. So m3 is again 0. So always remember two values you have to make it at 0. The first m0 value is always 0 in the any question. Any question cubic spine if you take m0 value you have to give it as what 0. Then this is decided by n. So whatever the n is there. n is 3 means m3 is 0. Now this is the end values. Two end values you have got. m0 is a starting. This is the end value. What is between these two? m1 is there and m2 is there. These two are remaining. Right. So how to find that? For that we have to go for the second step where we have to use one formula to find out what m1 and m2 that i value is there so what i have to substitute i always remember for finding m1 and m2 m values using this formula for this formula i'm telling i value will start from 1 and it will go till n minus 1 okay so what is i 1 okay fine what is n? n here it is 3. So what is 3 minus 1? It is 2. That means I need to find i is equal to 1 also, then i is equal to 2 also. i equal to 3 not required because as I said n minus 1. That means 3 minus 1 is 2. So I need to find i 2 as well as i is equal to 2 and i is equal to 1. So both the things I have to substitute. I will substitute first i is equal to 1 because you only think that, that common sense is there. Okay. That logic you have to apply that m1 and m2 you have to find out. That means two substitutions are required. One is i is equal to 1 and another one is i is equal to 2. i is equal to 1 if you substitute what will happen let us see. It becomes m0 plus 4m1 plus m2 is equal to 6 by h square. 1 square is 1 itself. So now I need to write that f2 minus 2f1 minus f0 then now m0 is 0 to so cancel that out so 4m1 plus m2 is equal so it will be 6 times of f2 what is f2 11 11 minus 2 times of sorry this is plus 2 times of f1 which is 5 plus 1 okay now what is 11 minus 10 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so 6 times 2 is 12 so I have got the first equation here. So 4m1 plus m2 is equal to 12 is the first equation. Now let us go for the second substitution which is i is equal to 2. So what will happen here? The formula will change, right? So formula substitution will change. m1 plus 4 times of m2 plus m3 is equal to 6 times of f3 minus 2 f2 plus f1 again substitution m3 is 0 we have already discussed that so m1 plus 4 m2 is left out here it will be 6 times of what is f3 value 
f3 is 8 minus 2 times of f2 f2 is 11 plus f1 which is 5 so it will be 8 minus 22 plus 5 which is 9 minus 9 right so 6 times of minus 9 is minus 54 so we have got the second equation also m1 plus 4 m2 is equal to minus 54 this is the second equation now we have to solve these two equations to get what m1 and m2 you can directly solve using the calculator otherwise the normal traditional method is by using what the elimination method it will be otherwise substitution method is also there any any method is fine so we'll go by the traditional method first we'll write the first equation then so we'll go with the elimination method in elimination method what happens you have to eliminate one variable so coefficient you have to make it as uh, make it as what same so here m1 coefficient if you see it is 4 here it is 1 here m2 if you see it is 1 here it is 4 so I have to multiply by the 4 so I am going to eliminate what which which variable m1 I am going to eliminate so I am going to multiply this entire equation by 4 so what will happen this first equation remains the same second equation will change into 4 m1 plus 16 m2 minus 54 times 4 is 216 so equal to minus 216 okay now elimination method means subtraction I have to do to eliminate this m1 part so 4 minus 4 m1 4 m1 minus 4 m1 0 now m2 minus 16 so 1 minus 16 is minus 15 m2 here it is 12 minus of minus it will become plus 228 okay so m2 value becomes how much 228 by 15 minus 15 which is minus 15.2 I hope you understood this part. So what I have done? 12. Here 1 minus is there already with 216. So minus of minus. So 12 plus 216. That's why it is 228. Okay. So this is what we got. M2 we got. Now how to get M1? Just substitute back in any of the equation. Okay. So I am going to substitute in the first equation. So 4 M1 plus M2 value is minus 15.2 is equal to 12. So M1 becomes how much? 12 plus 15.2 by 4 it is 27.2 by 4 so what it will be 6.8 okay done so everything we have got so what we can do m0 we considered as 0 m1 we got just now which is 6.8 m2 also we got just now which is minus 15.2 and the end to end value which is m3 we consider it as what 0 so all the values of m we got using what this formula remember that okay now after getting this value so we have to go for the cubic spline function for that for that we have to use another formula let us go for the third step so this is the third step we have to use this one big entire formula but it's quite simple to remember we have discussed in the first video also anyway this is the formula in which what you have to do i you can see so again i has come into the picture we have to substitute i okay this capital f of x i am considering because you are not to get confused with this small f of x because in the question it is given right that's why so i thought i will use f capital f of x anything it is the same thing okay capital f of x is same as that thing only but for the, for just the differentiation purpose because you, we are using the formula right that's why i use this one now here i value what all things we have to substitute so the second step what we use the formula there what i said i is equal to it will start from 1 it will go till n minus 1 that's why we took i is equal to 1 and n minus 1 is what 3 minus 1 which is 2 so i equal to 1 and 2 you got correct but here directly you are going to put i is equal to 1 that is correct from i equal to 1 to n you will go what is n here 3 that means from i is equal to 1 then i is equal to 2 then i is equal to 3 also you will substitute in this formula so three things now i is equal to 1 2 3 so for three things why it came let us see the question back so for x how many intervals are there how many points are there four points are there but how many intervals are there one two three intervals one to two is the first interval 
So if I substitute i is equal to 1, I will be getting the function cubic spline function in the first interval. If I substitute i is equal to 2, I will be getting the second interval 2 to 3. i is equal to 3, third interval. That's why three substitutions are required. Okay. So I have written that substitute i is equal to 1, we get the cubic spine function in the first interval. As I said, it is in the first interval of 1 to 2. Now here, I am just going to name this particular function f of x as what f1 of x for just a differentiation, for just a differentiating between others. Okay. Now I am going to substitute i is equal to 1 in entire this equation. Okay. So 1 by 6, h is there, h is always here in this question 1. So directly you can write 1 by L6 and here x1 will come right because we are substituting 1 minus x the whole cube into m 1 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 plus x minus x 0 the whole cube into m1 plus x1 minus x you can see that this and this part is same almost same thing okay into f naught minus h square h square is nothing but 1 1 1 by 6 times what m0 plus x minus x naught this particular part f1 minus h which is 1 by 6 again into m1 now after this what i am going to do i am going to substitute all the values in the in this remember that what all values are required x0 x1 is required okay f0 f1 is required m0 m1 is required okay so those values just write it down Now we have got what the first function we have got the x value lies between the first interval 1 to 2 for this particular function now for interval 2 to 3 that is the second interval we have to substitute what i is equal to 2 in the same formula this particular formula only i am going to substitute i am going to directly do that substitution i hope you understood the first part so directly i am going to fast forward the thing because it will get bored
still with f3 of x now here all the three functions we have got now in the question they have asked us to find out the f of what 1.5 now this 1.5 lies where it in which interval it lies between 1 and 2 that means in the first interval itself we need to substitute the value of 1.2 that means this function so f1 of x we have to substitute what 1.5 so this particular function we are going to take now as we know that we have to find f of 1.5 and this 1.5 lies or belongs to which interval it belongs to 1 comma 2 okay that means 1 and 2 now we have to substitute this x value where in this particular expression so don't bother about capital f is there small f everything is the same thing just we are going to substitute so what happens when you substitute x value in this particular expression f of 1.5 you will be getting at as 2.575 so this will be the final answer